What's up, yens, guys? Time for another video. And I'm going to go ahead and say right off the bat this video is about Canada and my concerns. Because you know why? I'm uh, me and a lot of other better YouTubers out there, smart YouTubers out there, are looking at what's going on in our country. And I like Canada. And this is definitely not bad, bad about Canada. I'm very concerned. I think Trudeau is a fucking asshole that needs to uh, die of a stroke on live television. Not die. You don't want to see him die real quick. You want to see him suffer, and it would be entertaining at this point. Um, but anyway, reason why a lot of us are looking at Canada, you know, we don't want to have, we don't want to put Canadians... Like I said, I like Canada. This is not in any way to make Canadians say, right, uh, oh, look at you guys, look at yourselves. I'm going to tell you that's what we are doing. Okay, some of us like Canada. And why we're looking at Canada and we're seeing stuff that we haven't seen here yet. And I'm sure any of you guys, Jens guys in Canada, probably seeing some shit that in going on in our country that hasn't happened to you guys yet. And what we're looking, people, I'm speaking for myself at the very least. I don't want to speak for all these other YouTubers, but speaking for myself, some of the stuff that I'm seeing in Canada, I'm looking at it like, well, uh, we got this and that that Canada don't have, but stuff I'm looking at Canada and says, oh shit, this is coming here too. And any of it, if you guys happen to be from Canada, you might be looking at the same thing. Okay, this is not quite happening in uh, Canada, but it's happening in the United States. But, oh, I see that shit coming here. But, uh, and you can argue that we have, both have versions of a thing, too. I mean, we're not living under a rock. There's so much information going on right now that we're hearing. I mean, the stuff that we're hearing, this is only the stuff we're hearing. Uh, when you're looking at Canada or your own country, the only, this uh, you're you're to be saying to yourself, okay, this is the stuff that we know about that we're hearing about on YouTube, and uh, where the news is saying, you know, more is probably going on. Uh, but yeah, what got my attention and other YouTubers that I've been watching is attention. A cop just sitting there condescendingly and pathetically. That. Uh, on a news clip from Canada, it's all kind of YouTubers have it. Uh, sitting there, that he uh, he has a badge and he's paid by taxpayers, just like in my country. Shit's going on. We got Pittsburgh. Uh, my um, TV news area now is Pittsburgh, and it's being uh, named on uh, YouTubers. Uh, the Pittsburgh Purge. They're saying that the police are just not coming. And then you got a uh, affirmative action hire, the token gay guy that's put the head of the police chief just uh, casually, nonchalantly, nonchalantly just saying whatever. But I digress there. I want to talk about Canada. But in a way, this uh, subject, I could be jumping subjects. Canada, the, the United States, the United States of Canada. And, uh, but uh, the most pathetic thing I've seen yeah, cop in Canada telling you, yeah, your taxpayers are supposed to pay for protection, right? Your 
you got a nice house and car in Canada. You get stuff, everything you work for. Uh, and you're paying taxes and you're working for money, hard-earned money going on taxes. And by the way, if you act up, I digress here. If you act up like they did in all the truckers uh, uh, doing that uh, standoff, uh, the uh, fucking asshole Trudeau, uh, uh, stupid fuckhead, uh, okay, I'm going to shut off all your money uh, if you don't uh, comply right now. And uh, this may not be so much off the subject because this is um, how they think they have you by the balls, too. You, you're. Your hard-earned money, just like us in this country, uh, got a car and a house that you want to be protected from people vandalizing or just taking whatever they want and taking away everything, your hard-earned money, and plus on top of that, oh, rob you at gunpoint and have it taken away, and then cop coming on there and telling you just to, okay, we want you to give your keys but leave the keys by your fucking door and then oh and don't confront or engage in any criminal because uh, they might actually have a gun and say oh by the way asshole Trudeau you're not allowed to have anything to protect yourself and my opinion not not telling anybody to do it but they, I think they have the right to to do this if somebody wants to throw something and hit them upside of the head with a a brick if they have a gun, go around the corner, hit them with a golf club crowbar. The police basically nonchalantly saying, okay, uh, we don't permit you to defend yourself. Yeah, we got re we don't got resources to investigate your stolen car. We want you to put the key in front of the fucking door. We don't got resources to guarantee we'll do anything about it. We want you to give everything over. Uh, basically, practically telling you you're risking your life ain't worth it. And it ain't worth the life of the criminal. Math, after all, the criminal's life is more precious than yours. And, uh... So, yeah, we don't got the resources to do anything about the criminal, but we got the resources to come after you, uh... Send a paramilitary group to come after you for the crime of defending yourself against a criminal. Which this looks very much like, uh... The cop on your television ought to be, there they should be outcry for investigation because authorities that have the nerve to say this on TV, basically saying, oh, I, I don't make the rules as long as I have a job and I have a badge and I get to be on TV to tell you to put your key in front of your door and, and uh, to take your car and just give up everything and don't defend yourself, right? Uh, Oh, yeah, and if you decide to have an outcry and protest, accuse your authorities of being a criminal organization, and if you want to argue that maybe this ain't just thug stealing your car that you're dealing with, if they're telling you to leave your keys right in front of your door, which I'm being, pro being repetitive, something makes you wonder in that. Um... Yes, you, you've got thugs, drug thugs and everybody else stealing a car for a joyride and taking everything you got to buy drugs or take whatever they got, right? Which is going on and fall, no, your property falling into gangs of... Falling, uh, excuse me, falling, property falling into the hands of uh, criminal gangs. Well, this looks suspiciously like, yeah, they'll gaslight you when you start saying this, guaranteed. But doesn't that look like that you're not just dealing with your typical drug thugs that are common all over the place? Sounds to me like the rhetoric when they're telling you this shit on TV. It sounds like the rhetoric of somebody who's allowing these thugs to do what they want, right? As long as they're getting a cut. But they're not going to tell you on the television when they tell you on the television to leave your fucking keys in front of your door. Of course, they're not going to tell you on the TV that they're getting a cut of it. Um, well, and then you may be assumed that, oh yeah, whatever the hell they're doing with all the tax money, they just don't cut the money and resources for cops. Oh, and maybe they're saying better off to, just like they're saying in our country, defund the police. After all, too much police brutality, and yes, you have bad apples in the police that once they uh, overtake a particular criminal, even though they rough them up. 
they're supposed to take them in and try not to cause their death. But if the criminal has a gun and intend to use it, then the, then the criminal gets killed. That's another story. But I digress. But anyway, uh, okay, I say that, yeah, they want to defund the police. Yeah, they're using, oh, police brutality. Police are more trouble than they're worth. And that's, they're going to use that and then smoke screen that too. And already they're running out of money to pay these police. And, and of course, uh, you got corrupt police. And then you got my position on police here too that I still say that it's valid. That the reason why these other assholes call them police thugs, even though some of them are, you got corrupt ones. I say these people that I don't give a fuck up about right off the bat that uh, are so intent on getting rid of the police because they would like to take you and me and make us subjugated to the street thugs and they be able to come right, stop you on the streets and uh, commit the same brutality they accuse the police of. That's the only, yeah, there's a people that want to do away with the police I talk to all the time, that I talk about all the time and and mouth off too all the time. Yeah, you motherfuckers want to do away with police. And you'll use the legit things that... You'll have some legit complaints that... Uh, bad apples in the police and you want to use that. Replace the police. Because all you give a fuck about is... Uh, protecting your criminal friends. That want to do what's going on now. Which be is being allowed to go on now, right? Uh, and which... You got far this far in this ramble. Let's see. Uh, bring shift the subject again, even though this is off the subject, which this relates. Uh, though during the COVID thing, a truck driver is doing that standoff and strike and protest or whatever the hell, and Trudeau with his power trip and with his like turban wearing uh, fuckhead uh, behind her with his like sne sneering and his. Seeing him in his pictures and more recent uh, things about his sneering when he wants to do away with handguns. And nobody's allowed to have guns to defend himself. Some turban-wearing fuckhead he got standing on one side of his shoulder there. Uh, and, um, yeah, yeah, he goes with the, that truck standoff during COVID. Yeah, shut off your money. Well, here's the thing what I'm trying to tell to you here, too. There's a point you're going to lose a lo lose everything you worked for. And uh, trying to tell you don't protest and don't uh, demand changes to what's going on. And demand an explanation to what's going on. And, and uh, protest for your right to have your property protected that you work for. that you're pay And you're also paying taxes and, and everything, right? Yeah, I think there's a point, though, too, uh, talking about the COVID trucker thing that he they uh, shut off the money. My point is bringing that up is, okay, you lose enough of your property, right? You're going to sit there like a uh, helpless uh, sheep or whatever and just whimper and say, oh, that's the way it is. Ain't there going to be a point where that if they, whatever you uh, do, right, if they shut your money off, what the fuck is it really going to do to you when you don't have a fucking thing anyway because of these motherfuckers that they're enabling? I, there's going to a point where they threaten to shut off your money. I uh, think it's going to be a little less effective. And that's why they probably got their uh, paramilitary goon squad set up to keep you in line. They got that all set up, don't they? Just like in my country. Just like in other countries, too. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, they don't got the police to protect your, pro protect your property. No different than Pittsburgh, which is in my television listening area. What's going on, a version of it. But the only difference in Pittsburgh is they didn't tell people to leave their keys be in front of the door yet. But one thing, if you got this far in this video, too, that I talked to my partner, ranted to this partner. That I'm literally yelling and, and at the TV about this in front of my partner, too. That, yeah, this is a thing that, yeah, they want to create flags for gun control, too. And at the same time, 
what people shouldn't be doing in my country involving guns and giving your authorities the ammunition against you to take your guns. But anyway, when I see in the, on news stories about so many cars being unlocked day after day quite often, cars being unlocked with guns in them, and in my thing is I'm a firm believer in the right to bear arms and the right to have an AR and um, and plenty in that magazine and have a handgun or a shotgun on you responsibly, don't get me wrong. But I also, yeah, firm believer in the right to own a, a weapon and even own, and even the right to own a non-fire iron, non, non-shooting, non-fire arm uh, types of things to protect yourself. And even bare knuckles against cement to make them hard enough to break somebody's jaw. But anyway, I'm a firm believer in all that. But I also believe here that there aren't people too stupid to have guns. Leaving a car unlocked, knowing that they're going to get stolen. Hell, in my country, it made the news that an FBI agent did that and got a gun stolen. That's fucking embarrassing. And you, I want to think that's on purpose, too. But anyway, we had a lot of people leaving cars unlocked with guns in them. And anybody that uh, does that shit, they don't deserve to fucking have a license to have a gun. They're too fucking stupid. And another thing, when you hear about it that often, that's on purpose. It's to help criminals. And some of them people ought to be investigated when you see that many going on. Well, there's so many things like that going on. You hear about these people in trouble. They're getting these guns or um, whatever, taking serial number off, that they're able to buy guns. Well, there are people in authority that um, corrupt and they're giving the stuff shit to criminals too. Well, and then what we got in our country, because the Mexican border, people from South America coming in. Uh, Joe Embriano has his version of what's going on there, too. Yeah, bring that many, let them come all in there, and then in their countries, these people coming from fucking countries that are more heavily armed than the fucking army in them countries, and you're letting them in my country? Oh, and guess what? They get across the border into my country. They're up there in New York. Hey, they're coming right... Well, they're coming uh, to Canada in different by different means. Yeah, people letting people cross borders and uh, letting people... You don't want to be prejudiced just against their nationality. After all, you got moderate Muslims there that want to get away from a particular thing. And uh, immigration policies are actually letting all the people say they are... There are some people, Mexican, South American... Muslim countries that they're running from a thing. Our fucking policies are actually letting in all the people that these people are running away from. Something's fucking wrong. And then nobody's allowed to say anything. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? I mean, that's that's fucking deliberate. That's grounds to impeach presidents, prime ministers, uh, officials, and whatnot. And like I said, I'm bringing up Canada because, oh, yeah, you better shut the fuck up or we'll shut off your, your money. But then, yeah, um, maybe uh, they already know that shutting off the money is only going to work so far and you ain't going to you ain't gonna have nothing to lose. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's going to be a point where it'd be like, oh, what are you going to do, shut off all my money? Uh, got a paramilitary goon squad that sure as shit. They sure as hell will have the resources to come after you when you get out of line, but they don't got enough of resources to protect you and your property? What the fuck is that? I mean, seriously. Um, yeah, sounds to me more like uh, stories I have in the back of my head, too. You know, earlier days of my country were, uh, even in my country, that I think they say there was a mafia model uh, for a while that we had a mafia that was protecting people that came from their countries from kept protect them from being taken advantage of you ever hear that story before the mafia became the notorious stereotype that it was there was a saying that it was used a uh, they couldn't protect themselves uh, protect themselves from being taken advantage of but then later on oh yeah you pay us a fee because you know it time resources then it turns into a tyrannical thing right uh, 
you're going to pay us or else uh, something might happen to your property. Is that, yeah, that's where it's headed. In Canada, they're, they're saying to give you your keys. They're say, telling you to just leave your keys out the door. I, I might be, that can leave doors open to, um, maybe you might have some other groups that get together that want them, that maybe mean well, get together on their own to uh, community watches or whatever, and maybe take some things in their own hands and, Maybe you might get some ones where, okay, uh, this takes a lot of time and resources. You pay, a, you know, it can be like that. Or the criminals themselves that are taking shit, you know, they're going to start out. In one form or another, just say, you know what, uh, you pay us protection money. The criminals are already doing that probably too. You pay us, the very criminals that are stealing the shit. Oh, you pay us protection money. This minimum amount will leave you alone. Yeah, they, what they can do uh, is pretty much uh, make you pay a protection money, some other group or whatever. And oh, it's cheaper than everything else. Well, you could be that could be leading up to a model for. A communist takeover already you know if you want to throw in the uh, what at the red armies or whatever all those communists that were in uh, recruiting kids thugs you know if they didn't have guns they were murdering their school teachers hatchets knives any clubs anything that they can get their hands on that shit in Cambodia they get the kids to kill their own parents and their teachers I mean Hey, that's a possibility too, you know, when uh, already they're enabling thugs and a lot of these thugs are young kids. The police don't want to do anything. The police are telling you, oh, we're just giving up control, whatever excuses they damn have. Canada, like I said too, they get my attention in my country because they're telling you to uh, put your shit out for them. Yeah, just give up whatever you work for. Put the keys out, submit. What the fuck you need the police for? A police nonchalantly, uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. That makes me pisses me off to a point where I'm yelling. Uh, that is damn bullshit. And then what's going on in the cities of my country? Got police there with badges and and uh, that uh, affirmative action gay hire and that's a uh, chief of the Pittsburgh police. They're basically saying, oh. I don't make the rules. As long as I have a job, I'm just talking to you saying this on TV. Well, they're not really saying that, but they might as well be. I'm on TV. It's just my job. As long as I have a job, that's all that matters. I don't make the rules. And matter of fact, if you get mad at me and want to come after me, I got a badge and gun on my hip. I have paramilitary resources to come after you. And if you don't like it, that's the way it is. We'll throw you in a cage. Matter of fact, because the thugs are probably uh, giving me a cut, see? And, yeah, and fuck you. I have the badge. I have the gun. I still have a job. And I have a job because all the other police didn't have their jobs cut. And I'm getting a cut of all the proceeds that are stolen. You can't prove it. Go try to investigate. Go try to get an investigator reporter and investigate any kind of thing. Yeah, will either turn up missing or they'll get thrown in a cage and they'll be conveniently made into some kind of big criminal. Well, they can tell them they're almost anything, huh? Right. Yeah. And plus, it's also they also doing it too is passive aggression, extreme passive aggression. When you won't allow your kids to be indoctrinated into the public schools to be damn uh, bisexual and cross-dressers and assimilate into one culture and uh, category, if you will, and, you know, I'll, yeah, we'll outlaw, yeah, we'll, we'll outlaw your, uh, we'll outlaw your biological gender, too, and, um, find you for that, you know what I mean? 
yeah, we don't like you being proud of your biological gender. We don't uh, like you uh, rebelling against our new normal. So uh, you, basically, your punishment will be all oh, this thing I talk about, letting the thugs take over. Yeah, you don't want to obey us. You want to hold on to your whatever religion you believe in and you want to hold on to this or that. And you want to walk around with your own personal sovereignty and a tough guy. We're just going to let the thugs take over and forbid you and forbid you to defend yourself against the thugs. Yep, yep, that's what, that's what they're doing. It doesn't even sound like a conspiracy anymore. You say all that shit, they'll gaslight you, but they're doing it really st so uh fucking nonchalantly like not even they're not even hiding it anymore you know you don't even gotta worry that they're gonna gaslight you anymore too yeah come into a town near you whether you're in canada or the united states um so yeah if i were you too yeah that squatting issue too that's going on in my country that yeah really it should be uh years ago uh, you are squatter, you're homeless, or whatever you are, you break in a house that's not yours. Uh, that's breaking and entering. And nobody has, and you get, uh, elect, you con, get false documents, falsified documents to get utilities that you don't have the money or intend to pay uh, in your name in a house that you're broken into. That's fraud, too. Everything from wire fraud to utility for whatever kind of fraud. Uh, and then all of a sudden, police don't do nothing to arrest, and then they'll arrest you because, uh, oh, this is a civil matter. Dude, that was fucking breaking and entering. Uh, so anyway, um, squirrel just, I just saw a squirrel just walking right on my table right over there. But anyway, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is what they're doing now. If I were you, if you got this far in this video, if you're in this country or Canada, you ought to be going to your uh, leaders of your town if you have some sane leaders that that hit some of your towns that this shit hasn't happened yet like that. Um, don't think it won't happen to you. You better get uh, laws to prevent these squatters right off the bat, you know. You better be... Uh, getting together and uh, rallying for some change there, prevent, taking some preventive measures, if you will. Because uh, I know I'm, I'm uh, to end this video, i am always said I was proud that back in the 2020 during the George Floyd riots, when everybody thought the revolution was on their freely glorifying vandalism on social media, me and my partner were damn near homeless. So that COVID uh, shut down my work for a while. And I, we had family member help us financially. And guess what? I went rebelled and went on social media and said, condemn that shit. It, saying it's shameful. Smashing, uh, destroying property. In places that had nothing to do with the dude that accidentally died that did time for... Uh, pointing a gun at uh, a pregnant woman and her baby because he was entitled to what they had. And which uh, they uh, did uh, massive rioting and became an international sensation which in the guy's name. Fuck him. But anyway, anyway, I was against all that, that massive vile vandalism. And if you got this far in this video, I got where I got right now because they check social media when all that was over. And I still announce to everybody that I meet in my town that I'm against that shit. So I got here because I was against that shit. When that was all over and I needed to put me and my partner needed a place to go. If I were dumb enough to glorify rioting and vandalism and they saw that on social media, which I didn't do, my ass would have been homeless now, wouldn't I? You gotta wonder how many people put that shit on social media still. Glorifying vandalism and they probably had their woke friends helping them, probably giving them handouts, who knows, but 
Yeah, there were a lot of Wokies in my country that did lose their jobs and it got turned on them. So there's hope in my country. A couple countries getting, a couple companies getting boycotted. So we got the go woke, go broke thing. We got some sanity in this country. But anyway, uh, all right, that's about it. I don't care how many of you listen to this, how little views, trust me. If I got 10 or 20 views, trust me, I know how YouTube and media works. It's getting views elsewhere without that number, so fuck you in advance. You're, uh, you're not stop anybody out there, even YouTube, not stopping me from saying shit, so. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it. This was, uh, I know the people who know me, this is for you. This video is basically for you. Whoever, uh, the right people that know me see this, that's all that counts. And I imagine I'm speaking to somebody out there that's, that's tired of the damn shit. But the, like I said, I like Canada and it's, it's a damn goddamn shame.